AGS using NPM and VEAT. For all my courses I include the 3GS library I used at the time I was writing and recording the course. This ensures the code matches the library so no further installation is required other than downloading and unzipping a zip file from Udemy or GitHub or cloning and forking a repo from GitHub. But another approach is to use a package manager. By far the most popular is NPM, Node Package Manager. And in this video we'll look at using this approach. To start you'll need Node.js installed on your PC, Mac or Linux device. If you haven't got Node.js installed then enter nodejs.org in your browser address bar. Download the installer for your device and install. NPM comes with the install. If you haven't got VS Code installed then install that as well. It's my recommended code editor. Enter code.visualstudio.com in your browser address bar. Open VS Code and choose Open. Navigate to a new folder where your project files will be stored. You'll need to agree to trust the authors but since that's you there's no problem there. Use Menu, Terminal, New Terminal. Enter npm install 3. Notice you now have a Node Modules folder and two new files package.json and package.lock.json. Package.json looks like this. 3 is listed as a dependency. Package.lock.json is created and edited by npm and should not be touched. 3 is the 3GS library which you'll find in the Node Modules 3 folder. Now we're going to add the build tool Vite. Enter npm install dash capital D Vite. Several new folders are added to the Node Modules folder including one called Vite. The others are dependencies that Vite relies on. If you look now at package.json there's a dev dependency section. That's because we use the dash cap D. Now in package.json add type module scripts dev vite build vite build. This will allow you to launch a dev server and package a complete project for distribution. You could place all your project files at the root of the folder but most developers prefer to keep things tidy by adding content to folders. Create a source folder src and a public folder and create a new file called vite.config.js. Add this code to the file. Export default root src public dir dot dot forward slash public build out dir dot dot forward slash build. Now Vite will look in src for any html or js files and in public for assets. Note the public and build paths are relative to the src path. To see an example using npm and Vite download this repo github.com nick lever 3gs dash npm just click the green code button and choose download zip. Unzip to a folder of your choice and open the folder in VS Code. To install the dependencies open the terminal and enter npm install. The package.json file is scanned for dependencies and the node modules folder is populated with all the packages needed. Recall the scripts we added to package.json. Use npm run dev. Control plus click on a PC or command plus click on the Mac, the localhost link to launch the dev server in your browser. 
Just a simple example of a 3GS app created using Vite as a build tool. Take a look at src index.html. Notice we can import the core 3GS library from 3. 3 will be converted into node modules 3 build 3.module.js and 3 add-on becomes node modules 3 examples JSM. Why? Take a look at package.json in the 3 folder. Notice exports. The default export for 3, that's dot, when used as an import, is build 3 module js. Used as a require, something used when creating a Node.js app, uses the classic JavaScript version, build 3 cgs. Add-ons becomes examples JSM. Back to the index.html file. Find the load gltf function at line 93. Notice set decoder path is draco-gltf. Since this is not an import, for Vic to find it correctly, it must be in the public folder. It's simply copied from node modules 3 examples JSM libs Draco gltf. You can see this folder also contains the glb loaded motorcycle.glb and the environment map Venice Sunset 1k.hdr. To quit the dev server, click in the terminal window and press Q. For the last step, enter npm run build. Notice a new folder is created, build. A new index.html file is created, loading the JS file from the assets folder. You might find you need to add a dot before the forward slash. The contents of the public folder are copied to the build folder and the main script in the assets folder is bundled and minified. The single script now contains the 3GS library and all the other imports in the index.html file in the src folder. If you have Live Server installed then you can run the app by right clicking on build index.html and choosing open with Live Server. Using npm and vite is a great way to create your 3GS apps. And that completes the course. I hope you found it a useful and quick way to get started with 3GS. You can find more 3GS tutorials on the courses page of my website, nicklever.com forward slash courses. I hope you find them useful.